welcome. Today we're looking at updating your contentful data uh, through JavaScript. Um, now I'm not going to go through creating the data in Contentful because that's another whole video in itself. Um, but I've got some pre-made here already. So going to the Contentful site, if I log in and I've got a GitHub account on here. What I've got set up is um, a whole load of credit cards and the details on the interest rates and purchase rates and fees for the year and so on. So we've got a whole list of these here. Now, in terms of updating this, uh, what I've actually got is a, a scraping tool that goes and gets that information. And then we need to, I want to then update it in here. And, and so that's what we're going to go through today, how to do that via JavaScript. Um, so let's have a look at one of the cards here. We've got an ANZ AirPoints Visa card here, and you can see the various fields we've got. And we'll come in and we'll just try and update the purchase rate on this card via the JavaScript API that Contentful provides. So that's what we're going to try and do. Let's go to the command line. And the first thing we need to do is install the Contentful management um, package, NPM package. So let's do... Um, an npm init and get that set up and then we can do an npm install and content full uh, management and that will give us the ability to log in um, I missed man management this will give us the ability to log in to our contentful site and then update a particular card okay we've got that installed let's open up visual studio code and pull that in Oh yeah, it is open. All right, so I'm going to create a new file here called main.js. And the first thing we want to do is get hold of that contentful management package. So let's do a contentful. Whoa, it crashed. Whoa, okay. Let's try that again. Okay, so contentful equals require uh, contentful and management. In fact, it's got it there for us. Okay, so that should give us our package. That'll be good. Now, the first thing we need to do with this is log in. And for that, we need to provide um, uh, an access API key, which you can set up in contentful. So let's go and set one of those up. If I go into settings and API keys, we've got our, um, our details about our particular site within contentful. And then we've also got a content management token. So I can generate one here and give it a name. Um, so just call it a shot of code. And we generate that and give that a copy. Uh, and now we can use that to log in to our, um, our account on Contentful. So we'll create this great, uh, it's all gonna be async this. So let's create an async function called connect. And in here, we're going to get hold of our client and it's gonna be, so we're gonna call Contentful and we'll do create client. And we need to pass that um, token in. So we're going to pass it an access token. And it's going to be that value that we just copied. I've got to remember to revoke this one at the end of the video. Hopefully I do. Otherwise you can all get in. Um, right. That should um, connect us there. And once we're in, we then need to say which space within Contentful we're going to be uh, interested in. Uh, if I look in here you're gonna, you can potentially have lots of different spaces. So the credit cards is just one potential space and, and that's what we're interested in for this test. So let's go back to API keys and go into credit card wizard. And when that comes up, we can come down to the space ID here and just grab that ID. Uh, and then with that, we can do let space equals, and we got our client now, and do we can do a get space and we just pass that ID in. That gets us into the level that we want within uh, Contentful. And then also within a space, you can have an environment. By default, it's just called master. And I haven't said anything else extra. So we're just going to um, grab that as well. So our environment within our space, 
is going to be space dot get environment like so and we're going to pass in um, the default which is called master right why did it do that let me get rid of that and I must remember that these are a sync so we need a weights on all of those all right, so and we'll actually we'll actually return we'll return this space because this is what we're going to be using going forward once we've got the space we can then get actual entries the actual cards from contentful um, so let's create a top level function here uh, another t another asynchronous function and in here we're going to call our await we're going to call our connect and whoops and that was going to return us our environment so we'll have a an emv here equals to the result of that and let's just log that out just to see if we're getting that far so far right so if i come into the terminal here i don't need the side there and if we do a node main.js uh, oh, I haven't actually run this. So this iffy here, we need to kick off. And okay, we're logged in. We're getting back some data there. It's telling us what we're environment we're in um, and not much else, but we can now get the cards using that object. So let me get rid of that and we'll minimize our connect function because that's all good for now. Um, just to go through the steps again, you need to create a client, then get the space within a client, and then which environment within that space, and then you're good to go. Let's create another then function where we're going to actually update one of these cards. So we'll have an asynchronous function called uh, update card, and we'll pass in that environment, and we'll pass in the ID of the card that we want to update. Right. So we're going to need the ID of a card. Let's go and grab that. We can get that again from Contentful. So if we come into our actual content and then look at, go into one of the uh, items and move over here to the info field, we can see an entry ID and that's the one you want. So if we copy that one there, then in here, I want to get hold of that card uh, and we can do that with the environment.getEntry and we just pass in the ID and this will this will give us our card and it's async now once we've got that card we can then look to update the values on it and it's all in a json package so i'm going to console log it out just so we can have a look at it to start with like that and we need to make sure that we do a call to update card and we pass in our environment and we pass in that ID. So I can then use card ID here. Right, so now when we run this, we should get uh, the actual details of the card back. And that's, so that's gonna be quite a bit more information. You can see it all here. Um, so you've got a lot of, let me make this full screeny up there. We've got a lot of system information here, which is not, which is, Relative, um, internal essentially and then the actual details of our card so the one we're interested in is the purchases rate here it's currently 20 percent we're going to update that so we can see it's within the fields area so we can just drill down into the json and update that value and then send it back to contentful right so i'll leave that there so we can see it a bit um, but we can basically go card dot fields and then within fields we can go into purchases rate and then on purchases rate we've got um, a localized object so we can grab that one as well by indexing into that and then we can change it from 20 to a 100 you do not want this card um, so that's updated it locally in our JSON. 
Now, to send it back, we can simply do card.update and that should update it with in contentful. It's not the last step and we'll see why. Um, so let's run this now. If I run this, we should see the same information come out. Uh, and if I go back into contentful, remember it was 20 a minute ago. And if I uh, just go back to the main page, we can see a few seconds ago that card was updated. And we come into it and look at the purchases rate and it's 100. But up here it just says changed. And we've got the option to publish it. So it's not live yet. We still need to make this live by publishing it. And what, it, uh, what Contentful does is update uh, a version on there. Just to, to make sure that two people updating at the same time don't get things out of order. You've got to specify which version you want to publish and that has been incremented so we can't just do we can't just go card.publish here um, because our local version is a version behind what has been put on uh, on the website so we need to go and get that again so if we do um, if we do card equals await get end card ID so we'll get the new version now and then we can just simply publish that so we can do await uh, card dot publish and that will make it live so if we run it again now we'll see our information we come back into contentful and if I refresh here rather than changed what we will see hopefully is published so uh, it still says change let's come down it's gone to a hundred ah I didn't wait that one just the one missing there oh I did get an error actually as well so that's fair let's run it again and that's cleaner and we come in and give it a refresh and we can see now up in the top right it is saying published and we are on 100 i should change that back um, so let me do that quickly now uh, let's change that back to 20 and run that again like so and then if we go back in one last time we'll see uh, that update again to give this a refresh oh in fact it already it refreshed it there for us um, so the purchase race is 20 so pretty straightforward um you know you've just got to grab contentful management package um go through the process of uh, uh, authenticating using your ids um, and then once you've done that, you can call get entry, update the JSON, call update on your entry, get the latest version and call publish and you are away. So, you know, for this, for this data, I have uh, the, all those credit cards. I use Puppeteer and Scrape for the latest information and then use this API to put that into Contentful. Um, and that works pretty smart. So uh, there you go. Um, updating contentful with javascript hope that was interesting if you enjoyed it feel free to click that subscribe button below uh, and thanks for watching catch you next time bye